when I started painting, I had no idea that I was really painting a metaphor for my entire lifetime. And it, it started out, I was trapped in a bad marriage, and it was interiors with a view to a greater landscape. And, I, that's, and then it became thresholds and doorways and archways. And then it became horizons. These were series of paintings. And then when I got to horizons, I suddenly realized, oh, I get it. This is my freeing up, moving through physical space. And, and I'm three quarters of the way down at the horizons, and then it became horizonless space. It became celestial. And we come from the stars, we go back to the stars. So I saw this whole journey as a freeing up and moving through physical space. That was the analogy, and that was the metaphor for my entire life. And it was, it's amazing because many of these images are really things I've experienced, but they come out 10 or 20 years later, distilled and stripped down and reformed. And because of the nature of paint, I keep wanting to go back to something more elemental, something more primal. And I did a whole series on the Genesis, but not based on religious, but definitely the titles came from the Genesis. Earth's greening, celestial firmament, a midst of the waters, you know, all these different face of the deep, different titles that really evoked um, primal stuff because that's the way, the nature of paint, and and it lends itself to primal themes. When my grandmother came back from Guatemala, having spent eight years painting, uh, she brought to me this small uh, carving in pink granite. It was probably an uh, inch and a half by three inches. And it was of uh, Shakmul, which is a deity that on the, on the pyramids of the Mayan pyramids, they would have um, a statue of a man reclining uh, with a bowl on his stomach. And that was where they put the sacrificial hearts. Well, this is what this carving was about. And I had no idea at the age of eight what it was. And it wasn't until I, much, many, many years later, went to Mexico. I said, ah, that's what it was about. And it, it triggered a painting for me um, in this image, which now hangs in a, um, someone's a condominium. And it, uh, it's of the reclining figure and the stacked pyramids and so forth. Um, it, it's just, it's been a very successful painting. It's almost like sacrifice and the opening of a bougainvillea blossom. The whole attitude in Mexico about death is so different and a lot healthier one. Of course, they have the Day of the Dead in October, which is so wonderful. And you can go and see all of the cemeteries at, at night and all the candles and bright marigolds and people drink, drinking and singing. It's a, it's a very wonderful way that they honor their ancestors. And uh, we have such a, a different prejudice about death here. It, and it, it's, it's a totally different, but a much healthier. Death and life are all one thing. Reincarnation. Absolutely, we're reincarnated, not as human beings, but everything is recycled. All the carbon, all the water that ever was is right here on Earth. You know, it doesn't go anywhere. And all of this is recycling. And I know maybe there are past lives, other universes, parallel universes, all this is huge sense of wonder about all of that.